With stable diffusion and comfy UI at your fingertips, the world of animation opens up to you like never before. In today's tutorial, we'll take you on a guided tour of the custom note in Comfy UI, a powerful tool capable of generating stunning animations for your artwork. One of the standout features of Comfy UI is its remarkable speed. Unlike some other platforms that might have you waiting for what feels like an eternity, Comfy UI gets the job done in a flash. We're talking about animations whipped up in just a matter of seconds, not the agonizing hour-long rendering sessions you might be used to with Automatic 1111. Speed, my friends, is the name of the game. So, stick around as we delve into the world of Comfy UI's custom node. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on the latest and greatest in animation innovation. Oh, by the way, do you know why was the AI bad at relationships? Not well, because it always thought it was in control. Ready? Let's dive right in. It's an exciting time for Comfy UI as they've been rolling out a bunch of new custom nodes. Think of them as the secret sauce, much like what Automatic 1111 does for Stable Diffusion. Today we're diving deep into one of these game changers, the Animate Diff Evolved Custom Node. Some of you might remember our previous tutorial on another Animate Diff feature in Comfy UI. This Animate Diff Evolved Custom Node we're looking at today is quite similar, but it comes packed with additional settings for generating animation frames. Getting started is a breeze. Head over to the Comfy UI Manager, locate Animate Diff Evolved, click Install, and give your web UI a quick restart. You're also going to need to download the Animate Diff Motion Models from Hugging Face. I've chosen the latest Mem SD V15 Vice model for this demo, but there are other camera panning motion models available if they better suit your needs. Now let's jump into the Comfy UI web interface. Oh, and one more thing. Many of you have been curious about my hardware configuration for running Stable Diffusion locally. Don't worry, I've got that covered right here. Perfect, it looks like Animate Diff Evolved installed without a hitch. Now in Comfy UI, you'll want to open up the Install Custom Nodes section in the Comfy UI Manager. Search for Animate Diff Evolved and go ahead and download it. I've loaded up a text to animation workflow here. You can find a list of these workflows on the Animate Diff GitHub page. When you drag and drop the workflow file into Comfy UI, keep an eye out for any red marked nodes. They indicate missing custom nodes. But don't worry, it's an easy fix. To resolve this, simply open up the Comfy UI Manager again and click on Install Missing Custom Nodes. The system will detect which nodes you need and take care of the installation for you. After a quick restart of Comfy UI, you'll be all set and ready to dive into the magic of stable diffusion. Now that we've cleared away those red flags, let's take a closer look at the batch prompt schedule. It begins with the checkpoint loader and VAE loader. Then, the two yellow nodes enter the scene from Animate Diff Evolved. These are at the core of running your images into animation in this workflow. Utilizing the motion model we downloaded earlier, we'll employ the linear schedule method. You can leave the uniform context options at their default settings, and a context length of 16 usually works best for this kind of animation. The latent count determines how your images are arranged in the animation output. Now, let's try out a prompt. For the batch prompt text format, follow this pattern, double quote the frame number, then use commas to separate each transition of the frame. Just remember, don't add a comma behind the last prompt or you'll get an error message. Before we hit go, know that you can save your animations as GIFs or MP4s. If you opt for MP4, make sure you have FFmpeg installed in your environment. Okay, brace yourselves for the results.
As you can see, the outcome closely resembles what was showcased on the GitHub page. Though, keep in mind that even when using the same seed number, the animation won't be exactly identical. There are other workflows available for you to experiment with. And one fantastic feature of Comfy UI is the ability to save your workflow file. Share your JSON file or image file with others, and you can even drag and drop the workflow file to queue prompts for instant generation. Now let's run this prompt once more with a randomized seed number and see the magic unfold. Comfy is incredibly fast. We're talking about generating animations within a minute or less. When it comes to generating animations with text or images, Comfy UI outperforms the competition. It's a league of its own. And in this video, I'll also showcase how this animation custom node pairs with Realism Style's checkpoint models. Stay tuned for the stunning visuals at the beginning and end of this video. In a previous tutorial, we explored stable diffusion with Pika Labs to create story animations. Soon, I'll be back with a tutorial solely focused on using stable diffusion for crafting captivating story animation videos. So, stay tuned for more captivating stable diffusion animation tutorials that we'll be sharing on our channel. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. Have an awesome day, folks. Such a dread